Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, it feels like I just want to go crawl back into bed. And uh, <laughs> sounds great. The weather is... It almost looks like it's going to rain. Panda's there getting his coffee. <laughs> uh, so, I was going to show this real quick. Because this is... Ah! Here are my shoes. Beautiful, right? <laughs> my other side, the toes definitely. It's doing the same thing. So I uh, emailed Ultra and showed him a picture of this. And uh, she just wanted a couple more pictures. So I just sent all everything to show like, yeah, I've hardly used these and stuff. Ultra, they responded back and said, yeah, your shoe, the shoes should actually last three, 300 to 500 miles. So yeah, they shouldn't be breaking like this after 100 miles. So just send it, give us an address. And we don't have the color black, but we do have the color red in stock right now. I hope that's okay. And I was like, yeah, that's okay. So uh, definitely great company that just their customer support. Overall, it's really excited. I'll be getting new shoes, but if these shoes do not hold up today, ah, I can use a bunch of tape, right? Just tape the shoes together. I'll be looking good. <laughs> like 16 to 22 miles into town. So we're so close to getting to Wrightwood. So I hope we get there today. That would be so sweet. So we can try. But bye. See ya. Me and Panda, we're making the climb. Look at the view behind me though. <laughs> so... <sighs> We're going to be hitting snow in a little bit, I think, in like maybe 12 miles. So, <laughs> this is so pretty, though. <sighs> Guys, have a little cloud cover while we do our hard, hard work of climbing. <laughs> and there's no water on this stretch, too, so having cloud cover is awesome. But I just can't get over these views. It's just, they're right there. <laughs> so, I mean... I think Wrightwood is less than 14 miles and we can always have high hopes that it can make it today, but never know. I have about five liters of water and I think I have plenty of food, so. And the more water we drink when we get closer, the less the packs are gonna weigh too. So it's gonna be awesome. So just absolutely gorgeous day. Love it. So much fun. Panda, you have any words of wisdom to share? Even though we just came from town, I'm kind of ready to be back in town and <laughs> have some hot food. But I always enjoy a good climb. You get a nice little rush of endorphins when you're doing some hard work climbing up. And obviously the weather is a blessing today. So I woke up feeling pretty good, ready to, ready to hit the trail. I'm, I'm happy to be out here for sure. Oh yeah, with these views too. Man, yeah. Wide open, you can kind of see far off. We're definitely earning that meal in town, though. It's gonna be out there. All right, check in later. There's trail magic about to happen. Pretty excited. So, we got snowy mountains now. We're about to hit the snow, too. So, this is pretty awesome. But. Ben, are you excited about trail magic? I'm ready for a cold drink. Oh yeah, that sounds so good. Yeah, it looks like I see a cooler down there, so I'm pretty excited. Cold drink. Uh, I could use a... I just really want an egg sandwich right now. <laughs> so, we'll see. I don't think that's gonna happen though, but a cold drink sounds awesome. And maybe they have something to eat too, because that would be sweet. Here we go, trail magic. <laughs> I got some fangirls at the end of the Hey, what's up? My name is Panda. I'm from South Carolina. 
Um, let's see. I'm out on the PCT because I like meeting a lot of people. I love hiking and um, I just I believe in the power of life on the trail. I think it's great and enjoyable and can be really life changing experience. So I'm glad to be out here and thankful. Hey everyone. I'm Chef Indiana Allen, Ninja Cat Blue, and I'm out here for life. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Drop Bear. I guess I'm out here for the same reasons as Panda, probably everybody else. Beautiful people, beautiful places. So, hike on. Beautiful. Hi, I'm Pippin. I, I just like walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because a woman told me about it a couple of years ago and I was like, hey, that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and I'm Blazing Star from Denmark and I'm out here because of nature and people and flowers. <laughs> uh, my name's Tom. Uh, some people who know me call me LTB and uh, I'm just here doing some trail magic, hanging out with people like you guys. Yeah, yeah, our beautiful host. Thank you so much, yeah. too. You're thank welcome. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> thank it's you, a treat for me. <laughs> so I forgot to get from where is everybody from. So I totally forgot that. So editor, somehow do your magic and just, you know, get it all in there. So here we go. Where are you from? Hey, my name's Panda, and I'm from South Carolina. All right. No names this time. Just where you're from. Massachusetts. Kentucky. Michigan. Germany. <laughs> Denmark. Rancho Cucamonga by way of Northern Indiana. This out, so it says to Corey, second chance hiker from Dean, age eight, and to me, age, oh, Tom. <laughs> oh, I love that, it says good luck, smiley face. And then here we go, we got another note. It says, uh, man, I feel like I have glasses. Yeah, I can't read. It says, please leave at least one Mountain Dew for second chance. <laughs> LTB. <laughs> so, of course this is, LTB, Tom, and uh, thank you so much for the trail magic and everything. You're welcome. So. I'm Big Iron. It's a basset hound with a cowboy hat on. And you would love for that to be linked in the oh, descriptions definitely. below? Definitely. All right, <laughs> give your name for the editor. Uh, Pippin. Pippin. The quest right there. He wants that linked in the description below, so... See if what you could do. Thanks. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. So I think it's like 930 and we haven't left camp yet, but we're all so tired. So everybody's trying to pack. Anyways, we got Hippo who joined us too. Hey. He's from Germany. Yes, I'm from Germany. And he hiked the AT too, correct? Yes, yes. The last two years. I'm not through hiker, I'm section hiker, but my sections are very long. Very long <laughs> section hiker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would still count it. That's awesome. And over here we got snow, lots and lots of snow on this side. So I'm just kind of hoping we don't hit snow today though. <laughs> but uh, seven and a half miles to town. So it's going to be pretty awesome. This is like Climbing up this mountain, well deserved to get uh, back into town. So looking forward to it. Hey everybody, so we're about maybe three miles from the road. Uh, I am not doing well. <laughs> uh, I keep feeling like I want to pass out, my legs hurt. I just really need to recover. Part of me just wants to lay down on the trail and just go to sleep. So, uh, Panda is here to make sure nothing bad happens to me though. <laughs> So it's just like three miles, but it sounds 
like it could be 30 miles right now. So just ate, drank some stuff. So hopefully that helps and make it. So it's just yesterday, that was a huge day up a huge elevation climb. So really proud I did it. But now today I can't do much. <laughs> So, one great thing is we have a beautiful view of all the snowy mountains. Pretty epic. So, at this point, I just need to make it to town and try to recover. I'm not doing well. High elevation, exhausted my body. So I can do it though. It's gonna be so exciting to make it to town. There's a Mexican <laughs> restaurant in town as well, so we're gonna have a oh, for lunch. Tacos. We already had really cheap tacos. It's gonna be <laughs> awesome. And this is actually the last uh day Panda's gonna be hiking with me for a while too. So, maybe Panda, explain why you have to leave me. <laughs> I've got uh, I've got to take a few days off to go do a job back home in South Carolina. So, I'm going to fly uh, out from the trail in a few weeks. So, I'm going to push ahead and we're going to split up for a little bit so I can make my flight. But then when I get back out, um, somewhere around Walker Pass, I think I'm going to try to find second chance and keep hiking with him. Since the past few weeks, it's been a lot of fun. Aww. <laughs> I want him to catch up to me too, or he's going to pass me and then get off trail for a little bit and then he should catch up to me. I'll let you know if we make it to town. <laughs> I kind of, there was actually three hikers that passed, or, and then I was like, if we all just carry me, we can make it. <laughs> and with Panda, there's four, so if everybody just grabs one of my limbs, <laughs> drag me down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting you out of here. <laughs> I can be done. So, less than an eight mile day. It can be done. really beautiful I'm still hurting the road is right there and I am in a lot of pain I actually think I could just start crying but I can make it yeah. hey everybody so it was a really painful, gruesome day of hiking. And immediately I was wobbling, hobbling to the road and Jennifer picked me up and was like, yay! And got Panda and then- and Gromit. Gromit? Gromit. Gromit? It's Gromit. Okay, right on. I hope I got that right. If not, I'm so sorry. Right. <laughs> so thank you so much, uh, Jennifer. Can I ask you what makes you pick up stinky hikers? <laughs> Wrightwood is a hiker town. We love to help as much as we can. That's so awesome. Okay, well, I already told her I loved her, so I already, I do, I absolutely love you. I was like, you're an angel that just fell from the sky. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I just don't want to walk anymore, so thank you so much, too. Oh, my too. pleasure. Plus, when I got old, I lost my sense of smell, and I can't tell That's you. a plus, because I think we smell pretty bad. So thank you so, so much. We're all ready to name our first children after you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, well, bye, bye. everybody. Hey everybody. Anyways, I am really, really cold. Oh no, I gotta cry because of my camera. <laughs> we went to the uh, restaurant, but the Mexican restaurant was too far, so we went and got a hamburger, and I could only eat half of it. And then I just started shivering uncontrollably, and I was like so cold, and I think they thought I was on drugs. <laughs> And I couldn't get, I went to the bathroom, put on all my clothes, and came back out and got her to give me a hot tea, and I just wanted to pass out, throw up, everything. I was feeling pretty bad before this. 
Panda came to the rescue. We got a hotel room a block over. And uh, what did you do, Panda? With you carried my backpack, I think. Go ahead, it's you. <laughs> Yeah, we just made our way from getting a little bit of food to try to get everybody warmed up and make sure that we're getting our rest. Mm -hmm. It was a hard past few days, so uh, mm -hmm. second chance is not feeling his best, but this is just kind of part of the trail. You have really low moments, and you stick together and get into town, get the food you need, get some rest, and um, so we're, we're hoping that he's going to feel better after a few minutes. My body is so cold that my head feels like it's on fire. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. <sighs> These are the Anyways, Panda rocks, man. I think I would have called 911 without Panda. <laughs> These are the low moments that not many people see, but... <laughs> man, down in the restaurant, he couldn't make it. I just wanted to lay on the floor. Love it. All right, bye. Awesome. Bye, guys. Hey, everybody. So it's been like 24 hours since the restaurant and this real quickly maybe i didn't really explain it so i'll just go over it again and if i did then oh well uh so got to town i was so exhausted all day and it was like only supposed to be like an eight mile day it was no real hills but like moving 20 feet up a hill just instantly zaps me and i knew i wasn't feeling well but i was like this must have been a really big day yesterday and my whole body's aching and stuff so anyways it took a long time it took like an hour a mile but panda stayed with me the whole time and we got to town and uh the trail angel she was so awesome she gave us a ride and i was so exhausted and made me like i love you for picking us up and i was like okay i know if i just eat something maybe i'll be okay so we go across the street and get this hamburger and I eat half the hamburger and that's when it just like I started shaking like crazy. I felt like you, you see in the movies uh, somebody on drugs they're like torque like just going like <laughs> when they're detoxing or something and I was like this is what it feels like and I saw people looking at me and I was like they probably think I'm on drugs and it's like I go to the bathroom I put on every item of clothing because I just all of a sudden just felt awful like my whole body was so cold and I'm freezing cold and so and people are wearing shorts and everything and I got the long pants and muscle <laughs> I have the jacket the long sleeve shirt and a t-shirt on and the puffy jacket and I just it got worse and worse and I was looking at it and Panda knew something was up at first he was like I don't know like maybe you just have to get he got some hot tea I came back from the bathroom and he had like a bunch of hot tea and she brought more water for the hot tea and I started drinking hot tea and I still was shaking. Everything was shaking. It wasn't stopping. And like this is, I've never had this happen before like this. This was getting pretty bad. And I was like, part of me just wanted to just go lay on the floor. I wanted to rip out my sleeping bag, fall on the floor and just say, I just have to lay here for a little bit. Or, and see if I can get warm or call 911 <laughs> because I can't move because I just felt so weak and the whole thing about grabbing my backpack and making it to the room and there was a hotel room like right across the street so that was really awesome um so panda came up with a plan he's like i will just carry i'm gonna get all your stuff to the hotel room and then i'm gonna come back for you and i was like okay i think i can manage that if you do that and you help me to the room i can get to the room because if not if i had to do this on my own there was no way because i just wanted to lay down in like the corner of the restaurant and call it a day <laughs> and uh feeling really awful and maybe it would have been a good thing to go to the doctor and figure out what was going on because that actually got really scary but panda has been so awesome he's been like i feel so bad too because he's like my little servant now he's like bringing me water he's bringing me coffee and i'm just staying in bed and so it's really nice. <laughs> I would be in a lot of trouble if Panda wasn't here, though. So, I mean, he actually went to there, and I said I just really wanted, uh, I think you can see, uh, so he got me ginger ale and two things of Gatorade, and I was like, that's just what sounds really good. So he ran up to the store this morning and got that, but he also brought me ginger ale last night, too. 
And I tried to eat something this morning, just a tiny little bit, and instantly I just ran to the bathroom. It did not, it did not work. Um, so, I could have definitely eaten, I could have definitely drunk dirty water. I'm not sure. But I'm really happy Panda was here, and <laughs> he's being really awesome. <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, that's kind of, it's just, you have a friend here taking care of you and stuff, like when you feel like you're worse. So my fever definitely broke though from yesterday. I'm not like burning hot. So I don't know. I don't even think I have the energy to drive up to urgent care or anything anyways, but I think I am improving, especially just 24 hours ago, especially since my fever broke. Now, if I can keep food down, that will be a good sign. I would like that. So, anyways, Panda's not here, but yeah, just a huge shout out to Panda. <laughs> totally rocks, man. So, I'm sorry for making you my little servant. I feel so like, ah, Panda. <laughs> like, go, Panda, can you get me this, please? Can you get me this, please? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know I, I joked with him I said like, you should sing a soft kitty <laughs> uh, from Sheldon the Big Bang Theory <laughs> I think that would be really funny it's like why not it's like you've done everything else so far so anyways I'm just going to go back to sleep and stuff and I hope you know I'm going to start feeling better and I'm going to be so excited if I can eat something that will be great, <laughs> right? Okay, good night, everybody. Love you, bye.